Hey, good afternoon YouTube. Joshua here at SaltyScales.com. So just after the holiday break, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Enjoy family time and great food. I know we sure did. But today I'm going to be discussing or sharing some of my favorite fishing items with you. And this is going to be great for your wish list. It's not too late for Christmas. So come along and we'll get to it. All right, so first up guys, you see me use it in almost all of my videos. This is my Legend Extreme uh, fishing rod. This is the seven foot medium fast power. And this is the Legend Extreme. It's got beautiful zirconium guides. You can see they're all pushed forward a little bit to help with casting to prevent line twist. Got this weird little funky grip. But what I like about this particular rod is it's very, very light. So when my artificial, this is an 8 to 17 pound class rod, I can throw artificials all day long and not get tired. But I also, if I wanted to, it's strong enough where I can use it for live bait. I rarely do that. I almost always have some type of arty on here. And then I equip it with my favorite spinning reel, in my opinion, is the, uh, the Stratic. And the Stratic FK has been a great little reel. It's a $200 uh, dollar class reel. All I do is upgrade to the Carbon Text drag system, which you can see in my video. I'll even link that video down in the description. But you're talking $200. You can get this combo on Amazon, or you can go to St. Croix, Shimano, of course, and I'll list those uh, links in the description as well. But you want to know one bad combo that's gonna last a lifetime, or at least a long time, it's going to be this outfit right here. Sensitivity, castability, smoothness, functionality, it's all right here. All right, so my absolute favorite bait casting setup at this point is the same rod, the St. Croix Legend Extreme. This is a seven foot uh, medium power and this is a 10 to 20 pound class. This rod has enough backbone, guys. I use it for both my live bait fishing and I use it for artificials, but it's got a backbone and sensitivity that you would not believe. Very, very strong. And then I equip it with this pretty girl right here. This is the 13 Concept TX bait casting reel, and this is a limited edition. Guys, I have to admit, I have a lot of bait casters and I gravitate towards this one all the time. It doesn't matter whether I'm going pond fishing for bass or whether I'm gonna go throw artificial swim baits for redfish and snook. This little reel is smooth. It packs a huge 24 pounds of drag and everything about it I like, you know, from the cork handles, not, you know, I'm not even opposed to the color and it matches well with this Legend Extreme if you're all into that whole matchy thing. But for lightness, durability, and toughness, hands down, my favorite bait casting outfit. Now it is a little pricey, I'm not going to lie guys, and I forgot to mention last on the last one, uh, the rods can run $350, $400, and this particular reel, I believe, I think it's a $400 reel. But, I know they're very, very limited in quantity now. Um, Hook, line, and sinker just uh, announced on his page that he has five of these reels coming in, and that's all that they could find for him. So check them out. I'm sure you might be able to get them on the web still, but they aren't going to have them forever. So I'll link the, uh, I'll put the link down in the description if you're interested in purchasing this particular combo. All right, so I've been using them for uh, about 12 years now. Mission Fishing Jig Heads have, even before I was uh, sponsored, affiliated with them, which that didn't occur until last year. Um, these jigs have outperformed, in my opinion, most other jigs that I've used. And I like them just because of their shape, their swimmability, and also the very durable hooks that they use. I noticed when I switched over to Mission Fishing, my hookup ratio improved quite drastically, and I've been with them ever since. Now, they do have some new colors and things out. For example, this Junebug color. This is an awesome color for trout, guys. I absolutely love it. And then the powder coat finish on top of the jigs, it lasts. I mean, I can ding these things off of docks and they're not gonna um, flake and, and things like some of the cheaper jigs on the market will do. Not to mention, they're made in America and it's a family-owned business. Uh, Tom uh, with Mission Fishing, he's a great guy. So check them out. Uh, I believe you can get them on Amazon as well. You can get them on Mission Fishing's website. Um, but these are solid jigs and they're going to run you about $3.99 uh, to $5 a pack. And they make for great stocking stuffers. 
All right, an absolute essential item when you go and you travel or you're on the boat outdoors is you need to be able to keep your food and beverages cold and you need to be able to do it for days. At least I do. When I travel, I like to, um, the reassurance and knowing that I can put 20 pounds of bag of ice in here and it'll last me for four to five days. So this is the Orion coolers. There's a lot of um, coolers on the market, but I chose Orion because they're a made in America product. Um, they also are the same maker by uh, Jackson Kayak. It's the same company essentially. And they really appeal to a broad audience. I mean, they have awesome colors. This is black. This one's black and red, which is my favorite color, but they have a whole bunch of different colors. They have the foam pad up top, which makes for a great comfortable standing pad for your front deck of your boat if you want to get a, um, a better angle on those fish. But what I really like is their innovative, innovative ways when they design this cooler. All around all quadrants of the cooler, they have bottle openers. They have these heavy duty latches, they're rubber latches with these aluminum pegs, which allow you to keep the lid airtight to the cooler so that way you know you're retaining all of the cold air and the drinks last a lot longer when you turn it to the side here they have this accessory rail rack and this particular rail rack allows you to do so much you can add cups uh, flay boards I mean if you go to Orion's website you'll be able to see the accessory list and it's a long list at that and they're always adding to it um, for carrying purposes you have this heavy-duty motorcycle grip heavy-duty rope so if you have you and a partner want to carry this cooler this allows you to do it but they also have these roto molded side grips which allow you to carry and it makes it easier if you're by yourself now if you come up and take a look inside you'll see here that the Orion is embossed and by the way I want to mention real quick that on the top of here uh, for you companies or if you want something custom done they can custom make you a pad to stick to the top of your cooler but this Orion is embossed in the, in the um, top of the lid here along with a very um, durable uh, seal to help keep things nice and tight. Once we open up the lid here that you have a very thick insulation uh, and again this is going to help keep the drinks cold for many many days. So Orion coolers guys, top notch cooler. They are a little pricey, but really, in the grand, grand scheme or realm of things, they're pretty affordable compared to like a Yeti, Arctic, and stuff like that. So check them out, OrionCoolers.com, and I think they might be on Amazon too, so I'll link that uh, link in the description. Alright, so for my glasses on the water, I've tried a bunch of different styles, types, and brands, and the ones that I've settled on are the Maui Gems. It's because when I grab a piece of uh, a $230 or $300 pair of glass, I want it to feel like it has some substance to it. Uh, and you can tell when something feels cheap, it typically is cheap. And what I like is their process. You know, they use a super thin real glass lens, which really allows for perfect clarity, in my opinion. And also, they have the gloss finish on the sides. And this particular model is the uh, Mahi Mahi design. They got them at Redfish Marlin. But Overall, I'm super impressed, and they have different lens colors as well. This is this amber color lens, which is ideal for a multitude of situations, especially low light conditions. But uh, it really makes things pop. So check out the Ma uh, Maui Gems. Uh, these are the P-High um, Mahi Mahi, and I think they are they run about 230 bucks or so. And again, you can get them on Amazon or MauiGem.com. So whether you catch a fish and you need to de-hook the fish or you need to take and clip your line at a rapid pace, you have to have some pliers. And I've tried a bunch of different pliers, Danko, all the aluminum style pliers from that $30 to $80 range. And I've rested on, well currently, these T-Rain pliers. And these particular pliers I found online on Amazon. I haven't seen them in Bass Pro, Cabela's or anything like that. And that's not to say they're not there, but I have not seen them. But what I really like about them is their durability. One of the problems that I have with some of the other pliers is that, say when I'm de-hooking something, I'll notice that the pliers will actually bend or the cutter will wear out way, way quicker than 
it should. I'm talking like every month or so, it feels like I need to change out the cutter. These T-Rain, they have a nice grip to them, a rubber grip, and they have a little safety harness here that you can clip to your belt or your uh, pants or shorts, and that's really helpful as well. And I really like the lanyard, and this all comes with the sheath and the pliers. This all comes at the one price of $49. At least that's what it was when I last purchased these. Um, but you can see how convenient that is. You catch your fish, unhook it, or if you need to retie, you got the cutters up here, clip, and you're all set to go, you know? So get you a set of pliers. They are essential. They will make your life easier out on the water. All right, last but absolutely not least, guys, we had the Salty Scales Fishing Apparel. Now, about five years ago, I created this business, and we did it in thought of helping to prevent cancer. We live down here in Florida where the UV rays are very, very high, especially during the summertime or any time since we're that close to the equator actually. But that was one primary reason. The second reason was I was tired of fishing in overpriced hot cotton. You sweat, then you dry, you sweat, and then all that salt in your shirt starts chafing you. Well, the solution was high quality UPF 50 which blocks out 98% of the UV rays, moisture wicking to help keep you dry, and also dye sublimated. All of our dye is made, or all of our shirts are made with the highest quality sawgrass ink, which is infused into the fabric. So like all them cheap cotton shirts, they're not gonna flake, they're gonna hold their color, and they're gonna look sharp for years to come. Matter of fact, I have shirts that are from creation of the business that still look brand new to this day. Um, but we have a great special going on, Christmas special. It's Xmas 17, X M A S 17, to save 15% at checkout. Go utilize the code, guys. Hey, make a video using our shirt. Send it to us. Who knows? Maybe we'll send you a free gift. But I hope you enjoyed this whole list. Let your spouses know. Maybe you'll get something under the tree. One of these items, I'm telling you, any one of them, you'll be very happy to have. Give a thumbs up, comment below, and share. And until next time, We'll see you on the water.